Okay, this is my critical race narrative assignment. In reading the racial identity development theory introduced in module two, how does it help you examine and understand your racial identity development? So, racial identity development theory, often associated with psychologists and scholars like William Cross and Janet Helms, provides an outline for recognizing how people develop a sense of their racial identity over time. It can be valuable for examining and understanding your racial identity development. This theory typically outlines different stages in individuals may go through in understanding and making sense of their racial identity. Familiarizing yourself with these stages can help you recognize where you are in your journey and what challenges and questions may arise at each stage. The theory emphasizes that racial identity development is a dynamic process influenced by personal experiences, societal structures, and historical contexts. Reflecting on your experiences in the theory context can help you understand how external factors have shaped your racial identity. The theory often discusses the importance of cultural socialization, which involves learning about and embracing one's cultural heritage. Understanding how you have been socialized and how you engage with your own culture can provide insights into your racial identity. Racial identity development theory <laughs> acknowledges the, that individuals may encounter challenges, conflicts, and moments of realization as they navigate their racial identity. Reflecting on these challenges can help you understand your responses, coping mechanisms, and personal growth. The theory recognizes that racial identity intersects with other features of identity, such as gender, sexual orientation, and socio socioeconomic status. Considering how these intersecting factors influence your racial identity can provide a more nuanced understanding of yourself. This theory promotes cultural competence, encouraging individuals to engage with others across racial and cultural differences. Examining your development in this context can help you become more aware of your biases, prejudices, and areas for growth in understanding and respecting diversity. The theory also encourages active exploration of one's racial identity. Engaging in self-reflection, seeking information about your cultural heritage, and having open conversations about race can contribute to a deeper understanding of your identity. What informed your racial identity development? My family played a major role in shaping my racial identity. Early experiences, interactions, and discussions within my family significantly impacted how I perceived my racial background and the importance placed on cultural heritage. Exposure to cultural traditions, language, and shared experiences with others from the same racial or ethnic background contributes to a sense of belonging. Media, literature, and educational institutions played a role in shaping my perception of race. Positive and negative portrayals of my racial group impacted how I view myself. School environments, curriculum, and interactions with my peers and teachers also influenced my racial identity development. Inclusive and exclusive educational practices and exposure to diverse perspectives contributed to how I perceive myself concerning my racial background. Understanding the historical background and the context in which certain events occurred influence how I perceive my racial identity. My racial identity is interconnected with other aspects of my identity, such as my gender, my sexual orientation, and my socioeconomic status. The intersectionality of these factors contributes to a more complex picture of me. Over my life, I have practiced self-reflection and exploration to make sense of my racial identity. This involves questions, learning about my heritage, and actively researching myself. Uh, what is the role of race in framing your racial identity? Explain when you first became aware of your racial self and how it manifested. Race is a social construct, not a biological one. Um, societies categorize individuals into racial groups based on shared physical traits, but these categories lack scientific basis. Nevertheless, these categorizations, social implications, and consequences significantly influenced my identity. Racial categories carry cultural and historical significance, often associated with shared traditions, histories, and experiences. Individuals identifying with a racial group may adopt cultural practices, customs, and values related to that group. Being from Irish heritage is complex. 
Initially, Irish immigrants faced discrimination and prejudice, often depicted as racially inferior and subjected to stereotypes. Over time, as Irish Americans assimilated into mainstream American society, American society, their racial identity evolved and became generally accepted. Irish Americans were initially considered part of the white other category, distinct from the Anglo-Saxon Protestant majority. However, as we gained economic and social standing, uh, we became more integrated into the concept of whiteness. This shift is an essential aspect of understanding the racial identity of Irish Americans. While Irish Americans are considered white, it's important to recognize the intersectionality of our identity. Religion, class, uh, regional identity all play a role. For example, Catholic Irish Americans have distinct cultural experiences that are different from Protestant Irish Americans. Some Irish Americans may feel a strong connection to their Irish heritage, while others, like myself, may primarily identify as American. In contemporary discussions about race and identity, Irish Americans may engage in conversations about privilege, assimilation, and the historical context of their experience. Understanding the nuances of how Irish Americans navigate our racial identity requires considering historical legacies and present-day dynamics. Um, we have to approach the discussion of Irish American racial identity with sensitivity to historical context and individual experiences. While Irish Americans are generally categorized as white in contemporary racial terminology, historical experiences of discrimination and the evolution of their racial identity contributes to the complexity of their cultural and social identity in the United States. During my adolescence, I engaged in a more active exploration of my racial identity. I grappled with issues of belonging and wondering what my cultural heritage was since my mom was adopted and um, we just had stories that were passed down through our family. My racial identity uh, continues to evolve into my adulthood even now. Um, after DNA tests and um, heritage research, my life experiences and exposure to different cultures, um, my personal reflection contributes to a deeper understanding of my racial identity. I also became aware of systemic racism and my role in challenging it. Describe a time in which you experienced or witnessed uh, institutionalized racism that was influential in your becoming aware of racial disparities throughout society. I became acutely aware of institutionalized racism through my experiences with education. I just started attending a diverse public school in Las Vegas, and I was initially excited to attend and couldn't wait to meet new friends. But as I started my new school, I noticed uh, disparities in education resources and opportunities among students from different racial backgrounds. The school's funding is allocated in a way that disproportionately benefits the predominantly white neighborhoods, leaving schools in lower income, predominantly black and Hispanic communities with fewer resources. The disparities are evident in outdated textbooks, inadequate facilities, lack of extra curricular activities, even the food. Um, additionally, I witnessed how students of color are disproportionately placed in lower level classes, limiting their access to advanced courses that could enhance their future opportunities. I later learned about historical decisions that had perpetuated these disparities, such as redlining and discriminatory housing policies that have concentrated poverty into specific neighborhoods. As I got older, I became more attuned to these issues and witnessed how institutionalized racism extends beyond the school system. I noticed disparities in healthcare access, job opportunities, law enforcement practices, all disproportionately affecting communities of color. The cumul cumulative impact of these experiences prompted me to confront my own biases and recognize the pervasive influence of institutionalized racism. Now, in my adult life, I advocate for systemic change within these systems. I collaborate with like-minded colleagues to push for a fairer allocation of resources, equitable opportunities, and policies that address the source of disparities. Identify which of Erickson's psychosocial stages of development you were in when you experienced the event you described. How did the events occurring in that developmental stage influence your perception of the event? So, 
Eric Erickson's psychosocial stages of development include various stages, each associated with a specific psychosocial crisis that individuals must navigate to achieve healthy development. In my case, the described event aligns with Erickson's psychosocial stage of identity versus role confusion, which is typical um, with adolescents. This stage is between 12 and 18. During this stage, teenagers explore and develop a sense of identity by experimenting with different roles, values, and beliefs. Uh, the psychosocial crisis is characterized by the tension between forming a stable identity and experiencing confusion about one's societal role. Uh, friendships uh, play a crucial role during adolescence, and even within these relationships, um, they, that can influence how teenagers perceive themselves. Um, positive experiences like supportive friendships can contribute to a more positive self-perception and um, in contrast negative experiences such as rejection or conflict can lead to identity, identity confusion. As I became an adult my experiences aligned more with Erickson's stage of uh, generativity versus stagnation um, and uh, the events during this developmental stage influenced my perception by triggering a sense of generativity, social responsibility, and purpose. This stage encourages uh, con contributing meaning meaningfully to society, and my response to the institutionalized racism, racism I witnessed reflected my commitment to making positive impact within the system. Applying CRT describe one action you can take to challenge power structures that perpetuate racial inequality. Um, if you shared a personal experience with institutional racism, thinking back on the situation, would you respond differently now? So applying critical race theory, CRT, um, I can take various actions to challenge power structures that perpetuate racial inequality. Um, and one fundamental tenet of CRT is the recognition of systemic racism and the need to address it at both individual and institutional levels. I can advocate for more equitable resource allocations within schools and the broader education system. This involves challenging policies and practices that contribute to disparities in funding, educational opportunities, and support for students from marginalized communities. Sharing knowledge can foster a deeper understanding of the root causes of racial inequality in education. I can also engage in open and constructive dialogues with school administrators. By presenting evidence of disparities and proposing alternative, more equitable policies, I can work toward influencing decision makers to prioritize resource allocation that benefits all students. I extend my advocacy beyond the schools by engaging with the local community. Building partnerships with community organizations, parents, and activists amplify efforts to address racial education inequalities and garner broader support. Drawing on CRT's emphasis on intersectionality, my approach considers the intersection of race with other factors such as socioeconomic status, language, and immigration status. This results in more comprehensive solutions that address the complex webs of web of inequalities.